All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. This is just a quick video to help you uh, figure out where to fish for the Southern Opener, the Southern Sierra Opener, which starts on March 7th this year. It is the first Saturday of, of March. Is There's a small area in the Sierra that opens up for fishing, and we're here to talk about it and help you guys figure out where to go. So here you can see uh, the description on the California Department of Fishing Game website. Go ahead and pause there if you want to read about it. Basically just gives the boundaries and, and when it starts and how many fish you can keep. Um, where is this area? You know, it can be a little bit confusing when you read it. Basically, it's Independence and Independence Creek on the north side. So this is Independence Creek here. Um, this is the northern boundary. And then... The 395 is the eastern boundary. So if we zoom out a little bit. And then the southern boundary is the southern boundary of Inyo County. So just south, basically, of Owens Dry Lake. But from Independence down to about right in here, this whole area and this, like, oblong shape here is um, open. You can fish all of the waters in here. Uh, what does that entail? Well, let's talk about it. You got Independence Creek. If we go down, you got Shepherd Creek. Will be open. They'll plant that. Uh, George's Creek. Yeah, George Creek right there. They'll plant that. If you go down, and the next major spot is Owens, or not Owens, uh, Lone Pine Creek here, right off of Whitney Portal Road. There are several spots along here that they'll plant. And, uh, of course, Diaz Lake. Now, let's talk about Diaz Lake for a second. A lot of people sleep on this lake, and I'm telling you guys right now that this lake, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it, that this lake has probably received more trout plants than 90% of the Sierra um, year in, year out every year so this lake has been getting fish every day um every day every week it's been getting um fish for the last like four months i mean they plant it every week they plant this lake and you can go on to the fishing game um website and see the trout plants and you'll see what i'm talking about but i mean man they plant it good and it is full of fish right now. I mean, just full. They're going to probably plant it again um, once this next week. And then they'll plant it again the week after the Derby or the week after the opener because they have the Blake Jones Derby. What's the Blake Jones Derby, you ask? Well, that's an annual derby that's been going on for like 50-something years. And um, here we'll click on it right now and you guys can read a little bit about it um pretty interesting they they basically take donations and there's some other ways to get money but they have good prizes and a lot of fish they stock a lot of big fish um kind of spread it around and then they have blind bogey contest and all that stuff i mean it's great guys you can sign up for the derby online and this will be held the week after the opener um, so check that out. It's worth going up there and doing once or twice in your lifetime, definitely. Um, so to wrap it up, Independence Creek down to Cottonwood Creek is basically the borderline. So right here, just south of um, uh, Owens Lake, you can just look up for Cottonwood Creek kilns. And then right near there, you'll see some um, stuff. So this Ash Creek, there's no fish in there, so don't even bother. But right there, where it says Cottonwood, um, this creek will have fish up in this canyon. Now, be careful up here in the early spring. There's a lot of snow and ice. They've had a lot of people get in trouble up there in the early season. So don't be that guy and get, get in trouble and get lost or whatever up there. Uh, so Diaz Lake and then all the creeks. So that's it. That's where it's at. Independence Creek to Cottonwood Creek, and it's all this area here. Nothing on this east side of 395. Do not fish over here except for the Owens River. You can fish the Owens River, and um, there's some several spots um, along here that you can fish. If you look at the um, 
basically all the roads that go east off of 395 toward the Owens are all good spots. Um, but those are year-round, not affected by the opener. It's mainly just the three or four creeks on this side and uh, Independence Creek on the north. So if you have any questions, I just want to keep this kind of quick. Um, post up. I'm more than happy to help you guys figure it out. If you have any other little uh, questions about maybe fishing up there, camping up there, let me know. But this is just about the fishing side of it. March 7th, 2020. Every year it could be different, guys. Make sure you check the regulations. Don't just assume it's it's open or it's the same every year because it, it could change. And uh, in fact, in the next few years, it probably will change. So that's it. March 7th, Southern Sierra Opener. It's worth checking out. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for more stuff like this and fishing reports and other awesome adventures on the channel. We're looking forward to seeing you guys out there on the water. It's been great meeting y'all. Hopefully we'll meet more of you guys out there. And uh, it's good to see you guys uh, using the channel for what it's for, which is to get out there and do some fishing, do some exploring, hiking, camping. Just get outside, guys. All right, we'll see you on the next one.